these are amazing <laughs> conditions. My hand is frozen, but man, this is awesome. Good morning. We are at the trailhead for Mount Eleanor, and this will be our first backpacking trip of 2021. We're the only people here right now, uh, so we shouldn't see anyone going down. And we saw this amazing inversion layer on the way up. So hopefully we'll see some other beautiful sights when we get to camp. So never have we seen a goat in the wild or a myth. Maybe we'll see one today. We'll see. The trail kind of winds through the forest for a couple of miles and then the winter trail. And then you go up an avalanche chute, which is kind of steep. Then you're in this basin where we'll camp. So it's about three miles and 3,000 feet. So it'll be a nice, quick jaunt up in elevation. This is also our first backpacking trip since September. So <laughs> we are a little out of shape in terms of carrying heavy loads uphill. The good news is that we've gone two miles already. The bad news is we've only gone a thousand feet. So that means the next mile is going to be kind of steep, but it's the kick in the butt we need for all the winter objectives we have this year. Getting steep. Wish I had two of these. Well, we're almost done with the shoot. Fog has definitely come in. There's, uh, there's where we're going, and that's where we came from. We look at the fog came in because um, if not, it should be burning up and probably melting. Not great to be in an avalanche shoot when it's melting. Well, it feels like the ocean is coming directly out of my face. It's very, very salty, and now it's very bright. Whew, we're almost there though. We made it to the basin. The visibility is not great, but we've seen a few people come down and they said that up at the top, the visibility is great, even above the clouds. Uh, so we're just resting here, lunch break, good old peanut butter and honey. And peanut butter. And my honey. <laughs> I would not want to ski that either. So we just came out of this cloudy abyss, crested this ridge, and check out these mountain views. So pretty. There's the summit. Enough to find a place We're to camp. camp. We have kind of a crappy area right here. It's bulletproof ice, and there's it's kind of a shoulder, so wind goes over it. summit this is where we'll be camping the views are insane look at Mount Washington all those runnels some glide avalanches that's where we were looking to camp it looks flatter here than it did actually there inversion layer which has been present all day just so insane so yeah we're gonna we're gonna camp here somehow and voila 
there's our tent. And could it be any more picturesque? It's insane. Feels like absolutely forever since the last time I've time lapsed, especially in the mountains. And, uh, but this is what I'm time lapsing right now. It should be pretty nice. Nice in the snot that's dribbling out my nose. So I just had a very sad realization. I went to go boil water so I could make Alex and I a very nice warm meal. And I forgot lighter and matches. Uh, I guess I'm very out of practice after not doing this for four and a half months. So yeah, now we have snacks for dinner and breakfast tomorrow morning. So we're gonna be a little bit lighter after this trip because we don't have any warm food. It's now 20 minutes till sunset and it is starting to pop. Clouds are lowering, the sun's never just getting lower. So shooting pretty cool. I am shooting this time lapse right here. And hopefully that turns pink, but we'll see. Other than that though, the sights are nice all around. These are amazing conditions. <laughs> My hand is frozen, but man, this is awesome. <laughs> One last look before I close the tent door. Probably one of the prettiest sunsets I've seen in the winter in Washington ever. All time. Much, much, much later. After spending 14 hours in the tent, to this pretty sight, sun in the mountains. And now we're just waiting for blue hour, which is another 30 minutes. The sun just started to rise. over here. Very, very pretty. The sea of inversion layer. This is gorgeous. Well, it's time to go. We had a beautiful time up here. The sunset was amazing. The sunrise was great. The night was cold, but relatively windless. And now we're going to head down to the car to uh, eventually get some Taco Bell or something. We are almost done descending the uh, avalanche chute. I'm still covered in sweat. Sonia is making her way through the debris and clouds are just perfectly level. Now we're done descending to the car. Bye avalanche chute. See you another time.
Now we're making our way back to the car. We're in the forest. Or should I say foggy forest? And uh, the temperature dropped like 10 degrees, but it's really cool, very ethereal. We've made it back to the trailhead and still haven't seen a single goat. So, still on Goat Watch 2021, maybe next year. Honestly, one of the best feelings in the world is taking off your boots and slipping on some nice Crocs. Can't really beat it. Feels like you're stepping on a cloud.